So I'm in the middle of painting this and I have to show you my little assistant here. This is Pepper. He's 18 months old and he is full of energy. I'm surprised he's not touching this because he uh, he never usually sits still. There he goes, no, no, Peppy, no, no. Um, I have an elderly cat that I adopted at the shelter. They told me she was a year old and I came to find out that she was not a year old and she has a lot of health issues and she's on daily medication, but she is the sweetest girl. And um, he, he just bowls right over her because he is a kitten and he is full of energy and I got him at eight weeks old. I never had a kitten before. I've only ever had rescues or cats that wandered into my yard. So he's a little much for her. So I usually, I keep them separated if I'm not home because I cannot have him you know, doing that when I'm not here to control it. If I'm in the room, he won't do it. But if I step away, he's hunting her, you know, when he wants to play. It's just, he's a kitten. Um, so here he comes back into the frame. So he, uh, I've had him, you know, since he was eight weeks old, like I said, and he's just into everything. He's just gonna watch me here. Bootsy's sleeping, my other cat's name is Bootsy. She came with that name and I just didn't change it. She had been dumped off, I think. I think somebody dumped her off in our town and they called our local shelter and they um, got her and I adopted her uh, out of the, our local shelter and she's been a dream. She's the sweetest, sweetest, sweetest girl. But like I said, she started to develop really severe health problems and so it's been quite expensive. Um, I think part of the health issues came because she was uh, um, exposed to the elements. She was dumped off in November and was living outside for several weeks and was near starvation when they picked her up. And so she has um, bone loss in her nose, uh, her head, and uh, nasal issues. She's got um, severe, um, uh, I forget what they call it, uh, but anyway, she's on antibiotics a couple times a week, steroids every day. And then through additional testing, we found out she also is hypothyroid, uh, has hypothyroidism. So that told my vet that she's not a young cat. Like they told me she, they thought she was when they brought her in, in the shelter because she's full, so full of energy and she's very tiny. And I think that kind of deceived them, you know, they're opinion of what how old she was because she was energetic and tiny and her teeth are in good shape and but yeah so she's uh now on thyroid medication also and like my cat my vet said no young cat in the history of cats has ever had thyroid disease so she is not young and uh, i don't know how old she is at all but uh, i'm gonna do what i can do for her and give her the medicine she needs for as long as she needs it and um, as long as she she's uh, with me uh, she was near death I'd say at one point um, before we figured out what was wrong and what to do and she had some procedures done so they could look in there and figure out what was going on at first they thought she had like some polyps that they could just uh, you know pop or like bust and then she'd be okay but now she's got nasal disease that's what they call it and um, will be on medication all her life and she's doing well uh, she eats a lot a lot much more than pepper but she's very tiny but I guess that's because of the hypothyroidism that I am treating but um, I don't know if you can ever fully treat that but so yeah so he just walked away all right so I will come back with the finished product it's getting there that's the back the front this is chalk paint so it will need another coat and then I also have the wax I'll put on it when it's dry. See you in a minute.